Now let's get back to the uh, the RCEP topic. Um, I think um, there's a still a lot of things to do on, under the framework of RCEP. And how do you see RCEP gonna, uh, or how do you comment on China's role in bringing more uh, development opportunities for other economies in the Asia Pacific well, region? We, we like uh, we like RCEP. I mean, RCEP brings together a very significant part of the global mm -hmm. economy. Uh, we actually think that some of the criticisms of RCEP are misplaced because it is an evolving. Uh, agreement, which mm -hmm. enables uh, an upgrade, I think, of the standards which will operate through the, the participants there. We would dearly love to see India, mm -hmm. and we would really like uh, President Xi Jinping during the, during, uh, G20, the G20 to have raised mm -hmm. with uh, Prime Minister Modi that it would be really helpful if India also participated in RCEP as well, mm -hmm. because it does improve the economic framework, mm -hmm. and it does make it easier to trade. Ultimately, the ICC is about trade across borders. We actually think facilitate that because mm -hmm. it's a huge development opportunity. You know that only 1% of SMEs in Latin America actually trade across borders? Oh really? Yeah. So what we're doing is we're working to enable and give them the strength and give them the capabilities to do that. Think of the development, the economic development that's missing there. Mm -hmm. There's much more happening in um, in Asia PAC, but there are still parts of this economy where mm -hmm. SMEs, which are frankly 80 85% mm -hmm. of the uh, Asia Pacific economy, mm -hmm. are not given all the tools and support to actually trade across borders. RCEP makes it easier. Mm -hmm. TPP or the CTPP makes it easier as yes, well. Yes, yes. You just mentioned the CPTPP, the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership. You know, China has also applied to join this uh, partnership in 2021. And of course, this is one of the world's biggest multilateral yes. trade agreements. Uh, of course, the process is still ongoing. And Raymond, how do you see the significance or the necessity of China's participation in this. Same thing. RCC, RCEP is important. This is just as important. These are one of the largest trading agreements mm -hmm. and it's going to facilitate trade activities. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be a good thing, but I think John's mentioned it right. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's uh, there are things to continue to work on mm -hmm. and be more inclusive, hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day. But look, this has got to be the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, uh, and you know, hopefully we'll, you know, the process can move a lot quicker because it's just going to generate uh, mm -hmm. more trade activities for everybody. It's going to be more embracing, yes. more inclusive, mm -hmm. um, and uh, create hopefully more you know, opportunities for everybody. Okay. Yeah. So what, what I like about the Chinese application to actually participate mm -hmm. in that group is that it's an acknowledgement, first of all, that if you look at the, the quality, that's a very high quality agreement, okay, so it deals with state-owned enterprises, it deals with it deals with rules around digital, it's actually the highest quality agreement mm -hmm. operating. China knows that if it wants to join that agreement, it mm -hmm. actually has to ensure that it's able to align the way its economic uh, uh, arrangements operate within its borders, which will require reform. If in applying, it actually encourages and makes it possible to, be, to drive even further economic reform in China, mm -hmm. which is such a critical part mm -hmm. of the global economy. But mm -hmm. absolutely, when you look at APEC, where I think uh, uh, China is the principal trading partner for every single economy, perhaps not Philippines, but mm -hmm. uh, almost every single economy in Asia Pacific, mm -hmm. it's actually important for us to see China's growth path continue. Mm -hmm. And you know, we want the property sector issues developed, uh, resolved in China. But but we also want to see this improved focus mm -hmm. on actually reform inside the borders to mm -hmm. ensure economic development continues. And if joining uh, the, 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 the comprehensive trade agreement will actually facilitate that, that's a good thing for everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, please. Uh, which, uh, I agree 100% yeah. with all mm -hmm. of that stuff. Mm -hmm. If you look at, you know, China is already the largest trading partner with many of the uh, parties today. Yes. So these agreements just going to generate more activities mm -hmm. and it helps to reform some of the reforms that we're, you know, John mm -hmm. talked about because it actually creates the impetus mm -hmm. to, to, uh, to make some of those reforms.